if you want to use the AWRP60 to control your uh, remote cameras, you need to configure it. Configure means that you need to set the connect type, serial or LAN, and if it's LAN, you need to set the IP addresses of your camera. So today we will do just as an example one setup of one camera by LAN. So what is connected at the back is only the LAN cable who is going to the switch where also the PC and the camera is in the same uh, network. These are the serial connectors we will not use and this is the 12 volt XLR4 in. If you prefer you can also use PUE to power this unit. So at this moment the controller is on but no camera selection buttons are lighted because the unit is not configured. To find the, our camera back we can use the PC and the little IP setting software, easy IP setting software. So we find back our camera which is at the basic address when it's new and also the controller is there which also its initial address. Okay that is what we want so basically now we can go on this controller to set it for your for the IP address of camera one so we go menu then F5 is the scroll down button system we push then 502 connect setting so now we see camera one we can change this to camera three four etc by the way we can connect up to 200 cameras to this little unit so configuration by these buttons can be hard that's why we have a little setup program that i will show you in a minute anyway we only want to set up camera one and it will be by lan so i confirm that then if i push exit I can go to manual IP but camera 1 is already because this is initialized setting it's already the correct IP address so the camera should appear and yes this green light confirms the camera is there so if I leave the menu and I select this camera I can see the presets already stored in the unit preset 3 preset 4 I can zoom in zoom out etc I also see the status of my iris focus and zoom okay if you want to configure many 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 cameras it's maybe better to use our uh, setup software so the setup software is rp60 pc tool which give you an overview of all the 200 cameras by groups of five cameras because you have to divide into groups of five cameras you can see up to camera 200 so by normally pushing the refresh button it will go and check the memory of the unit and show it on this list this is not working while because I have to set an authorization that and the password, a login and a password, so that and authorize that some program will go into this unit and change the settings because this unit is protected against, let's say, hacking or uh, unwanted uh, access. So when it's new, it has no password, no login, so you cannot use the control program so first thing to do is set a password and a login by the way you need to have a login name of eight characters at least and then a password also of eight characters and this must be a mix of numbers and letters and there must be one capital so for today I chose this easy to remember to names we go to menu maintenance rp setting second page there it is so new idea old idea is empty because there is no old idea there is no old password it's a new unit so i will set my new idea i do with f1 
you start to rotate and there numbers and letters characters will appear so a d m oh i missed it There you are. And and now one, two, three. Then we go down with the scroll button, a scroll button, then we set our password, so we decided one two three four five then capital A small d and then small m By the way, as soon as you confirm, the symbol is gone. If you forgot it by pushing F2, you can see it back. Then please reconfirm. So new password. Now we have to retype the password. So we do the same job again. One, two, three, four. Five. Big A. D. M. Okay. We this is okay, but we need to save it, so we go to F five f4 sorry and we push yes then unit ask me do you save to pc pc tool id and password if you say no it refuses to save this so definitely we're gonna select f3 because we still remember we can do later okay now this is saved in the unit still the software tool cannot connect to the unit because I need to allow it so exit RP setting PC tool link is still disabled I enable and now we can access with the PC by the way each time you leave this menu this function goes to disable again so you need to keep the menu open and set it to enable our setup software now so if I do refresh now login error this is normal so it means there is a login and password in the RP60 but we did not mention here so we have to do the same by the way it was at min one two three and as password one two three four five big a e m let's check now yes now it works and as you can see it took the data from the unit now cam1 is network aw ue70 with this ip address so i can now if i want assign a second camera can even be by serial then i don't need to set any ip address and then i push the set button and this will be transferred to the unit right okay 
as you can see, the unit reboots now. Because if you write to the unit, it will store it in the memory and then it needs to load it again. And what does it mean if I do refresh now? Connect error because we lost our connection to the unit so we need to go back to maintenance RP settings and enable again the connection tool if I do refresh now it just do not change because it's taking the same data as it was already there so this software allows me to configure the unit completely it's not ma the intention of this video to explain all details because it's quite easy to find out by yourself but you can give uh, names to the cameras you can give names to the preset so names to the camera can be interesting because now it's just cam one maybe it's better to give some more uh, uh, actual interesting name and also if you use user notification in the camera you can set for each camera the login and password to have access to the camera if you don't use that in the cameras you don't need to set it here last tip if you make a mistake in typing your password uh, if you made a mistake and it did not accept you need to start from new when you need to erase all things etc or if you want to change old ID and old password to new one it you need first to retype the old ID and password and then you can start with the new one well I think it's much easier to just start from zero so if I initialize the unit everything is gone and I can restart from zero again so it will reboot and come up as new again thank you for watching